right, before we get into this evening's festivities, welcome, my friends. How are you? Thank you for, for joining us. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go live pretty soon, maybe like a premiere, uh, and, and just basically play all of the moon anomalies that I've discovered over the past, I don't know, three, four, five years. Now, I haven't seen many other channels do that. Typically, they break it down into four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty different videos. Why? So they can get that ad revenue. So I've done it once before, but it's time to update it. And this photo right here, this NASA Lunar Orbiter 5 photo will definitely be in that video, okay? Uh, also, I have probably, I don't know, maybe five or six videos on backlog, so I'm going to be posting a video pretty much every day for like the next, I don't know, four, five, six days, something like that. So, you know, be, be, be sure to stay tuned in and, you know, come back periodically if you don't get notified because we know nobody gets notified because YouTube, it doesn't work, okay? Also, join us on Rumble at Nocturnal News. So, what are we looking at? NASA image LO5-125H2A. Again, this is the Lunar Orbiter 5. The V you know, stands for 5, obviously. Uh, and, and now what I did, like I always do, I went and verified that this was real. Okay, and I went there, found it for myself, you know, because I saw this on Pinterest of all places. I, you know, Pinterest is a great place to find like real UFOs and moon anomalies and Mars anomalies and all that good stuff. And I went there, went down the rabbit hole to some little weird, obscure website, and I found this image. Okay, so of course, I go to the Arizona State University uh, website where they have the high-definition NASA files, found it for myself, and, you know, started uh, investigating. Now, as far as I can tell, uh, by the way, shout out Brandy. Brandy asked me a very important question earlier. She said, uh, you know, what is the scale? Like, how big is this? You know, so I said, well, as far as I can tell, it's about the size of a football field. You know, maybe 100 yards or so, you know, something like that. Now, you can't really scale it in the photo, but just based on, you know, past knowledge, that's what I think it is. And, of course, this here, the famous... Uh, anomaly in the Zeman crater and I just wanted to include a few you know um, I think really important anomalies that we found and others have found this now look this one right here this is the only one that I've never been able to truly verify so if you guys know where that came from please tell me otherwise you see I've included the NASA file the photo file number at the bottom on all these photos but that's the only one in this entire video uh, that I have never been able to independently verify like look at this guys what is that like a warehouse I mean some type of landing strip I don't know or it's just some crap on the moon it's natural I have no idea okay so back to this one now right here uh this is where it is okay this is the basically the high definition download from arizona state university so it took me about 20 maybe 25 30 minutes to find this I mean, again i found the photo on pinterest i'm like okay i had the photo number and i went to the gallery and then i'm like where is it? it's like a needle in a haystack but there it is right there okay now <laughs> You see, on the bottom, it looks like some type of tubing and pipes and, uh, you know, I don't know. It's just not natural, whatever it is, like this little sidewalk going to these stairs. And that little thing sticking up right there, that reminds me of that statue of, like, Jesus, you know, with his arms spread out. Of course, I know it's not that, but it reminds me of that. But... I wanted to include this, okay? And you see that little walkway, those little uh, indentions right there in the ground leading up to this anomaly. Uh, you know, so I don't know. I think it all kind of ties together, you know, if this is something unnatural if this is not if this is not just some you know natural anomaly that just looks like an ancient civilization which you know it could you know that that's the hard part honestly about investigating these uh you know these anomalies or these photos or whatever you don't know you know is my eyes playing tricks on me is it like looking at the clouds and you see an elephant and a dragon and it's just you know it's just the way our eyes are made uh, I don't know, you know, so I don't claim to know what this is, uh, you know, I, I have no idea, so that's why I bring it to you guys. Now, right here, of course, I added a filter, um, you know, just so we can highlight some of these 
odd you know shapes and different angles and anomalies i mean it, it just this is just incredible to me because uh it, now if you go back and look at the original photo there's nothing else in the surrounding area that looks like that i mean look at that 90 degree turn bottom left right there that looks like you know like a 90 you would put on pvc piping right if you guys know anything about plumbing you know so uh maybe some type of fitting along the way on that pipe leading up to this sidewalk um that little hand looking thing or a rake looks like a like almost like a garden rake in the middle i mean it's just completely crazy and remember the lunar orbiter 5 went to the moon first okay to scout out the moon uh for a good landing site and to test communications i mean all kinds of things like that before the apollo program went to the moon okay that was the whole point it was like a reconnaissance mission from nasa okay back in the in the late mid mid, mid to late 60s okay 1967 i believe uh that was the purpose of this now it brought back literally thousands tens of thousands of you know these high def photos that arizona state university has now downloaded to the internet and people like me go through them and they find things like this okay but have we found the smoking gun no not yet i mean i, I you know i'd obviously this isn't the smoking gun but at a bare minimum it's something interesting and it's something that i doubt any of you have ever seen out there all right so there you have it that's all i have on this again this is a, a new discovery to me uh here's another one right here apollo 14 1971 and these are just maybe a, a small example of what i'm going to be uh you know showing you guys in some upcoming videos okay now could that be something reflecting off the uh the window of the of the apollo capsule absolutely you know it definitely or not yet well this was 71 well yeah okay 71 so yes it could be um again here's another weird anomaly and of course this one right here okay you see the frame number at the bottom i've made an, an entire video about that this was something that was found on google uh, google moon pro right there okay same thing right there arizona state university um this actually these were were kind of displayed in the documentary that i was in uh, shout out to darcy weir and richard dolan uh some great guys in the ufo world now also i know you guys asked me um you know what channels would i recommend in terms of ufo channels so uh i'll be putting together a top five and top worst ufo channels in my opinion in the very near future in fact working on it now also, uh, there's a lot of people that have been sending me a lot of different UFO clips. I'm also working on those. I mean, I have so much on backlog right now. I, I'm actually excited. You know, usually it's hard to find anything that I deem worthy uh, to go on Nocturnal News because, I mean, hopefully you know by now that I will only post the best of the best. I mean, there's no clickbait garbage here, uh, no trickery, there's no grifting, there's none of that nonsense. You know, I, I will only only post something if I if I truly cannot explain it and I don't know what it is and I don't make a dime doing it so that's coming up very soon all right so look guys leave a comment below that's how you support nocturnal news is just by simply engaging leaving a comment you guys have a wonderful evening